I guess we have eyeglass wear today. Hey, starting to see that sun peak out a little bit more, right, over the next uh, course of, say, the month, month and a half. But while the rays are still not in full force just yet, the right pair of shades is still an important tool to protect your vision, your eyeballs. Dr. Kimberly Friedman, an optometrist with the New Jersey Society of Optometric Phys uh, Physicians, she joins us in the studio this morning. Good to see you. Good to be Thank back. Thank you for Thank joining you. us. Now, I don't step outside the house without my shades. I try to look cool. It just doesn't <laughs> always happen. But, you know, I can remember as a kid, I would never go outside and think about wearing shades at all, sunglasses at all. Talk about right. the importance, even as a kid, of wearing sunglasses. Well, I think a lot of us have figured out the importance of wearing sunscreen to protect our skin from sure. the UV rays, but it's equally important to protect our eyes, and especially even at an early age, because we know that the UV damage is cumulative over a lifetime and can do the most damage in the children under the age of 18. All right, like what sort of damage are we talking about with the UV rays? Right, well, obviously the skin cancers in and around the eye everyone knows about, but also issues with cataracts, macular degeneration, and even a very painful like sunburn called a photokeratitis on the front of the eye, which is very, very uncomfortable, can occur. All right, and are we talking just adults or this is also more... Right, happen, for the younger happens generation. with any age group in fact especially when we're getting a snowstorm when you're out with this snow it can happen within an hour and only eight percent of people think to put their kids in sunglasses when they go out to uh, play in the snow and we really need all the kids when they go out in the snow for sledding skiing whatever to go ahead and put the sunglasses on also look cooler than all the other kids absolutely too, right? <laughs> all right talk about also uh, what the sunglasses that we have here are how do you pick out the right pair I, I know for a lot obviously for me I try to get the ones that look good, right. but that's not always the case. What are we, what right. are we looking for? Well, we need to go for fashion, of course, so that we'll wear sure. them and be comfortable with them, but also we really have to look at the labels. In the United States, we do very well with labeling, and we want to look for things that say 99 to 100 percent of UVA and UVB coverage. And it's we also be both, though, both right? UVA and UVB, and we also want to look for lenses that are dark enough to block out the visible rays so that it'll be comfortable for us when we're outside. And uh, what about the cheap sunglasses that are out there, that are like, like 10 and fifteen dollars that right. I see and then they still say they block out a lot of the right. UV is that right protective sunglasses don't have to be expensive sunglasses now if you're getting them at the dollar store or flea market they may not have the UV protection right. you got to be careful there but really any reputable source they don't have to be hundred dollar sunglasses you can do well with the ten and fifteen dollar ones just read the labels and one more time talk about the real damage that can occur over time are we talking some blindness as well or right. what's the damage well mainly we see the speeding up of cataracts and macular degeneration can lead to permanent blindness and now granted UV exposure isn't the only risk factor for that but it is one of the strong risk factors because so they can be very serious complications well, I see some of the Ray-Bans. Obviously, those are some of the popular ones. Hey, I was asking you about eye color as well. There's certain eye colors that are a little more sensitive to light. Right. In terms of UV damage, it doesn't matter if your eyes are blue or brown. It's an equal opportunity no damager. But in terms of how sensitive you are to the light, blue or lighter eyes can sometimes be a little bit more sensitive, a little more uncomfortable in the bright light. All right. Well, great tips. Well, thank you so much for coming in, Dr. Thanks Kimberly for having Freeman. Me back. We